CR Speed was one of the original race gear makers from back in the day. Their first holster ad ran in USPSA Magazine front site 25 years ago back in 1996. CR Speed is headquartered in South Africa, but their gear can be found on ranges across the world. Today we're going to be looking at the CR Speed Versa Mag pouch and the belt that it hangs off of. I'm David from the Humble Marksman channel. Are you ready? Stand by. So for a bit of history about the CR Speed product, CR Speed was one of the first brands to be using injection molding and basically plastic uh, for their gear from way back in the day. They kind of pioneered a lot of the stuff. All of their mag pouches are universal. You can fit basically any magazine into this and they've kind of carried that philosophy sort of forward toward all their gear, but specifically these mag pouches. Uh, they are very lightweight. They have possibly the most stable belt mount that I have encountered. They're available in a couple different configurations. Their basic pouch, which is the Versa, comes in at about $30 and is available in like all the colors of the rainbow. And we know that the first rule of shooting good is looking fast. And the easiest way to look fast is to have really loud colors hanging off your belt. So CR Speed does a one wonderful job in enabling you to look really fast. They have bullets out pouches in the form of the Sidewinder. It's only about a five buck up charge, but you get a pouch that can either be bullets forward or bullets out. They have their PCC mag pouch, which is pretty cool. This is great for carrying the super long PCC mags. So uh, it's super stable and these clock in at about 60 bucks. So I've been using the pouches with the Bull Armory Ultimate Racer. And I've been really pleased with it. Uh, I've got the pouches in a red, white, and blue because America, and I've got the Sidewinder at the back that I've been keeping my starting magazine in. And the pouches, as you can see, are held on the belt with their C-Bax uh, bracket. It's kind of an ingenious design, honestly. Uh, they basically have a C-shaped clamp that has a set screw. So you back out the set screw, you set the pouch's position on the belt, and you tighten the set screw, and the pouch is completely immobile. You can see between these pouches here, the, this one is in the high configuration, and this one is in the low configuration. So there are really only kind of two heights that you can put the pouches at. Since the back of the mount is a C-clamp, the Velcro from your outer belt has a great bind with the Velcro from your inner belt. However, since the mounting mechanism is a C-shaped clamp, you really are kind of locked in with their brand of belt. This is their Ultra Belt, which is super high quality. I think it's like 50, 60 bucks. It is very well stitched. The binding is very good. It's got nice stylish stitching going down the middle. And it's a super premium gun belt. There's really not a lot I can, more I can say about it. The stiffness is not like super hold up an airplane sort of stiff. Uh, it is stiff enough, in my opinion, to hang all of your gear off of, but if you're one of those guys who likes to basically choke themselves off the waist by tightening their belt so tight, then you may say, oh, the belt's not stiff enough, but I find the belt to be perfectly suitable. Then the pouch itself is held onto the Seabax hanger through a serrated washer. So once you get the angle of the pouch set and you tighten down the, the pouch onto the bracket, this thing has zero play and zero wiggle. I'm not kidding when I say that this is the most stable pouch that I have ever tried on a gun belt, and I've tried most of them at this point. There is not much of adjustment beyond sort of the angle the pouch is set at. The retention is accomplished via friction, and there are spacers inside the pouch that allow you to change the tension. Uh, they have a Glock pouch, they have a CZ pouch, and what they call their Colt pouch, which is for like a double stack 1911. So, between those three spacers, you're gonna cover pretty much all of the mags that are used in competitive shooting. The thumb wheel at the back of the pouch is excellent for clamping down on the magazines to get your desired level of retention. The big scoop cutout at the front of the pouch right there allows you to index really high on the magazine when you go for the mag retrieval, which is a very welcome feature. And the front mag kit uh, is available for a pretty reasonable, I think they're about 50 bucks with the front mag kit. And since everybody gets magnets now, this would be uh, essential on anybody's belt. So you need a magnet and this is what their magnet solution looks like. The magnet is very powerful. So the Versa mag pouch is gonna hold your magazines really close to the belt. So if you're somebody who wants the magazine sort of offset from the belt a little bit further, this isn't necessarily going to be the product for you, but pro tip, if you close your inner belt on the side where your magazine pouches are, that 
folded over thickness pushes the magazines further away from you. So it makes them a little bit easier to get at. I was totally comfortable grabbing mags out of this. These are truly fine mag pouches. The pouches are really kind of simple and straightforward, which is sort of refreshing. It's like, this is such an easy way to accomplish the thing that we're trying to do. Why hasn't anybody else tried to do it this way? And the answer to that is intellectual property rights. They've patented pretty much all of these good ideas that they've had out of plastic. And as a result, like getting the gear adjusted is this is some of the easiest gear to get adjusted on your belt. So building a belt with the CR Speed stuff actually was one of the faster experiences of getting a belt set up than any of the other mag pouches that I've tried. There's the CR Speed Versa pouch and the Ultra Belt. Uh, it's good gear. I appreciate CR Speed for sending this in for review. Uh, if you've got questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, if you've made it this far, please go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps me out. If you want to join my Patreon for a dollar a month, you can get access to three to five new posts per week about my kind of competitive shooting adventures as well as behind the scenes look at what's going on with the channel. And if you've made it this far, YouTube really thinks you'll enjoy this video here. And I've picked the video of the Bull Armory Ultimate Racer for you to watch. So enjoy that. Appreciate you guys. I'll catch you on the next one.